Ready for the battle. Are we actually in the settlement? I think we are. Yeah. I'm afraid we cannot. We can go for campaign movement plus melee attack skill, armor, melee defense. Uh, I'm gonna go for the armor and the melee defense because that's always useful. We can actually go for the campaign map movement if we want, which we might go for. Yeah, we'll go for that. Some military traditions for us there. We now have Ammonium and Paratonium. We will have a rebellion in the next turn, I, no doubt. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to recruit both of these, so I will be getting another unit of War Elephants. And we will get some Egyptian Archers as well. And that should easily be enough to take all these out. The War Elephants by themselves could probably take them out, but we'll see how it goes. And we can continue. So... We have two settlements. I will be taking out Serene, and I might even take these guys out, the Nasamones. Let's have a look. Uh, Libya, oh, let's see, Nasamones, yeah. Ooh, God. Yeah, they've only got the one settlement, I think, haven't they? We'll take them out as well and take all of Libya, just for the sake of it. Just for the sheer spite of it all. Right, this army, we can now move south. We're going to move across the road, I think. Yes, we're going to go across the road here. Come out of Diospolis. We might have enough with this army, the Southern Sons, to do damage. We have our general, who is a general with a war elephant unit. And actually, speaking of generals with war elephant units, I could have done that with my general here, which I think I will. So we have Ptolemy here. I want to change my general. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, I can't remember how to do it. Army view, was it? Nope. It was recruit. Nope. nope, 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 nope. Uh, yeah, you go replace. That's what I wanted. So I don't want to... Yeah, we'll replace him with that, higher. But I want to get Ptolemy back, because he got good good stats. So, you then go back on to replace. I'll have to wait a turn or two, probably, but... Oh, well. It'll be worth it in the end. They've actually got more men in the general unit as well, so... It's worth noting that. But anyway, I can click end turn. And we'll see how we go in this end turn phase. But that was one insane battle, guys. I mean, holy, holy, holy. War elephants for the win. Give a like if you like the war elephants. So, the Blemies, they want trade and they want to offer me money. And I want to offer you blood. So I say no. No, thank you. You will be dead before long. And Sarinatia now want peace. I think not. I will wipe you out like a little fly. Will they be attacking me? I hope they are. Yes, they are. Excellent. I could just auto-resolve this, guys, but this has been a nice trilogy of battles against Saranasia, and I want to show all of them, so we will be fighting this battle, and I will be seeing you all on the campaign map. On battle map, sorry. Okay, guys, welcome back to the battlefield. I haven't really arranged my troops in any special order. I've just kind of gone for it. We're even going to use the mob in this battle, because why not? <laughs> Let's bring everything forward. Bring my royal peltas behind my war elephants. The war elephants are going to go crashing in. They have war elephants as well, mostly African war elephants, but they don't have as many as me, so we should be okay. Elephants ready for battle. At your command. Balhamun. Oop, wrong faction. Bring these guys forward as well, my navy. Bring them all across. Elephants at the ready. Charge them in. This is good. Do I have anything else in the center? I don't do I know. Okay, that's fine. That is good. That is good. We will be stampeding. And we will turn course and go for the elephants instead. Because we will still take out quite a few of them. We will pelt us, come forward. Set our Egyptian infantry against the Egyptian infantry. We don't have much infantry ourselves, so we have to be careful with this. Hopefully if we take out the war elephants, they will be fine. And how are we doing? The elephants are down to 7, ours are down to 10. Oh my. I have to wash those slingers as well. Do they have javelins? Don't change javelins, we think we might be okay. Might just get away with this. Let's get our general in there. Let's get the mob in there as well. Get the slingers forward. Our navy will be on the way shortly to help out. General! Let's get those mob units. And actually the mobs can be used better than this. 
they can be used to disrupt the the slingers. I know that the Egyptian cavalry can probably wipe me out easily, but I can send them towards the slingers and actually use them that way. Try to disperse them. They only have four elephants left. We have nine left. We're doing pretty well. The mob's going to get in there as well to assist if possible. Form up our men. Let the elephants wreak havoc upon them. Right click there. See the mob is actually working. I don't think they have any good stats though, but who knows, make it a couple of kills for me if possible. Try to micromanage just a little bit. Get some kills, get some kills. Hold them up long enough for my general to get there, come on. Got a couple of kills here, well done. Jesus Christ, my elephants has been left alone. Get them up. Attack you fools. It's quite an open battle this is. My ships are on the way though. Need them as well, I think. Get them up there. General! Loose formation! Kill the hosses! Elephants just chase them all down, they don't care. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Kill them all! Saranasia will be no more. Excellent, these guys done well. Bring them forward. Oh, their general's dead as well, near enough. He's dead now. Can my general rank up? Oh, he's not far off a rank up, actually. We will darken the sky with their blood. Doing very well. My elephants doing all the job work for me though. I'm even getting kills with the mob, I can't believe this. Well, I'm not with this unit of mob, but I think I did with the other unit of mob. Mobbity, mobbity, mobbity. Egyptian infantry chasing me down. Get the missiles to aim for the Egyptian infantry. Bring the general forward. Bring the slingers forward. Well, they have to go and kill the mob. Well done, mob. I think they're all dead now. Here we are. Victory. End the battle there. Close victory for Egypt. 397 kills by my elephants. 22 by theirs. I used my elephants effectively there to countercharge theirs. I also threw a unit of mob unit in there to soften the blow and to distract their elephants. Royal Pelt Dash did quite well, 119 kills. Bye bye, Serenatia. Release the captives, come a nice guy. Oh, we have rebels, excellent. We'll take on the rebels shortly. Boom, returned home. Ptolemy has returned home. Increased in rank. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff to do by here, so we're going to zoom over to Paratonion, well, to Ammonian. Ptolemy can come back to me now, so we will change this. Where is he? Ptolemy, there he is. Higher. I want him on elephants. Excellent. He's back with his great abilities and his great army. We could actually take out Tyranation ourselves. Chase up there. Boom. And I got a choice of who to attack now, I think. Go for them, go for these, gonna go for these. Oh, I can't. That's a shame. Either one of these. <laughs> we'll just corner them instead. The gods guide my footsteps. Hope they won't do that. Oh, it's not fair, they can't reach. Hit the rebels here. I'm not going to show this, guys, because it'll be kind of boring, so we'll auto-resolve this one. We'll go with the aggressive stance. 95%. And he is dead. Rebel, no more. Release the captives. Military traditions. Lots of military traditions to increase. 
which I will be increasing. So we want to go for morale for all units in offensive battles and siege armor. I may defense, I like that. And we will go for morale for units in raiding and new defense barricades, I like that one. That looks good. And then my general can have morale for all elephant units. That'll be useful. And we're gonna go for some zeal, and we're gonna go for some uh, charge bonus weapon missile. I'll go for the missile one for him. Then you can go for, ooh, look at that, ammunition plus armor plus melee, we'll go for that. And we want to go for some replenishment rate, maybe? Yeah, I'll go for that, why not? I only wish that they could, they could both get there this turn. We have another rebellion shortly as well. I'm actually going to, oh, look at the war elephants. This is the one thing which I must say, when you auto resolve, always watch out when you auto resolve with elephants. Look at that, my mercenary war elephants are only down to one, unfortunately, because of that. I'm going to stick them in here though, so I don't have a rebellion next turn. We should be fine anyway. And then I'll be going towards Cyrene and taking out Cyrene. Meanwhile, in the south, my army will be going towards. Oh, look at this, they have, <laughs> they have a full stack, they know what's coming. These are smart men, they know what's coming. Okay, so we're going to look at Jerusalem for a second. My champion can now go into Jerusalem to train this army. It means he'll get his experience up quicker. We need to hold Jerusalem for as long as we possibly can. I think we're okay for now though. I have a spy which I can use up here which I haven't used yet. But I will be using him before long. This army can probably replenish, uh, recruit sorry, some more men. Mm, we've got cavalry, we've got slingers, we've got pikemen. What do we need? More pikemen, maybe? Mm. Maybe, maybe not. And I go with two more units of slingers and a unit of Egyptian infantry to begin with. But this will be for a future episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this campaign so far. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.